All right guys, today I am going to do a quick little tutorial of how to make an isometric sketch. And an isometric sketch is a sketch of an object where you can see three different sides of the object at the same time. Um, an isometric sketch isn't really how you see an object in real life because we're not accounting for how far things are away from us. So we're not gonna have a vanishing point at all. We're gonna see all three sides of this object that we want to see equally. Um, this is gonna help a designer fully describe an object so that if you were to hand your sketch of a design to someone else, they would know different measurements on it. They would know the exact sides of these three different sides of the shape. Um, it just helps to fully see an object all at the same time. Now we're going to do two isometric sketches. We're going to sketch this shape right here, and we're also going to sketch this shape right here. And you can complete both of these practice shapes on page 12 of your engineering notebook. There's a full page of isometric graph paper that is for you to use. So we're going to start with this shape. And one of the biggest things that you have to remember about an isometric sketch is there are no horizontal lines. If you look really closely at this graph paper, all of the lines are either straight up and down or they are at a diagonal. We always wanna keep the lines that we draw on our shape on the lines that are on the graph paper already. So we're never, ever, 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 ever gonna have a horizontal line on our graph paper. That's very important to remember. Okay. Another thing that you want to notice is that when you're doing an isometric sketch, everything on, if you say you built this shape out of Lincoln cubes, anything on your shape that is a line that goes up and down is going to be a vertical line on your paper. Okay. Anything that goes side to side, so long ways, is going to be a diagonal line on your paper. So just a couple things to remember before we get sketching. When I do an isometric sketch, I like to start at the very top of my object and work down. But if you get into doing these isometric sketches and you find a different way that works better for you, go for it. Um, but I'm gonna walk through how is easiest for me and how I typically um, work through my isometric sketches. So for this object, um, this is on slide seven of your interactive workbook. So if you'd like to see a finished sketch of that, it, it can be found there. To start, I'm gonna draw this very top of this top cube right here. And because we don't have any um, horizontal lines, all of these lines, they're going side to side. They're not going up and down. So they're all gonna be diagonal lines on my paper. And I typically like to, just for size purposes, I like to make one linking cube two triangles on my paper, okay? So if I'm gonna start by doing this very top cube and I'm using the scale of two triangles on my paper to being one linking cube, I'm gonna do four diagonal lines on my paper. So there's one, that would be this side right here. Two, that would be this side right here. Three, that would be this side right here. And four, that would be this side right here. So now I have this very top part of my cube. Now the next lines I'm going to do are going to finish out this very top cube and they're all gonna be vertical because they come down, they're straight up and down on my actual object. So they're gonna come off of this corner, this corner, and this corner. So I'm gonna flip my ruler and I'm gonna do a vertical line off of that first corner, a vertical line off of this corner, and a vertical line off of this corner. Okay, so that's gonna give me all three of these corners that I can see and now we can start seeing how we're how we see three sides of that object. We can see the top, we can see the front, and we can see the side. Now to finish off this top cube, I'm just gonna connect these vertical lines with some diagonal lines. And there I have just a perfect cube like I do at the top of this shape. 
if you start getting into this and you're struggling, I would practice by just drawing cubes because anything that we draw in design and modeling is going to be a series of squares, basically. So um, if you're having trouble getting started, just draw some cubes on your paper. Get used to making that particular shape. Now when I'm drawing this, my next line that I'm going to draw, I want to draw this top view right here that looks kind of like a Z shape or a Tetris piece. Okay, So I'm just going to draw this top view and then after I finish the top view, I'll get into making it so I can see the front and the side views. Um, but off of this top cube, I am going to start by drawing this line of my object right here. Okay, and because we're drawing everything at either a vertical or a diagonal line, everything is going to be at an angle. And one of the ways that you can think about how to draw your line either diagonal up or diagonal down is what kind of angle it's going to make. Now this one is going to make an obtuse angle. Okay, obtuse means bigger than 90 degrees. So I, need, I know that my... Um, my line is going to go diagonal down if it's going to be an obtuse angle, okay? So after I draw that first line, I'm going to draw this line right here that does this front edge. And I'm going to flip my ruler around, and this is two cubes long on my paper. So I'm going to make it four triangles on my graph paper. So one, two, three, four. Now we're going to flip our ruler around again to draw this line. And that's just one cube long, so I'm going to go two triangles on my paper. We have this line of this orange cube right here. We're going to flip her around. Two triangles. This line right here. I'm going to flip my ruler around. Go two triangles. And then this back line is going to be really easy because all we have to do is connect this bottom right corner of our cube to the line we just finished drawing. So now we have this shape right here, this Z shape. Okay. From there, just like I did with my cube, I'm going to start drawing in these corners. And my corners are going to be vertical lines off of all of the corners of this shape that I just drew. So I'm going to have a one line off of this far left corner. I'm going to go have another line right here. I'm going to have a line off of this corner here in the middle. This corner. And this corner right here. So I have one, two, three, four, five vertical lines for the one, two, three, four, five corners of my shape. And then drawing the bottom of this is super easy because all you're going to do is connect those vertical lines to finish out the shape. So connect those two. Connect those. Connect those. And connect those. And then you have the same isometric shape, isometric sketch that you do here. That's the same one that's on slide seven of your interactive workbook. So I want you to try to do that one on your own, okay? The other thing I want you to notice is how you can see three sides from here. We can see our top view right here where I just put T's. <coughs> we can see our front view here where I put F's, and we can see our side view here where I put S's. So we can see three sides of this object equally. Now I wanna work through one more sketch with you so we can make sure that we have lots of practice, and we're gonna work through making this sketch. And you will notice that on your interactive workbook, I do not give you the actual sketch of the object like I did with this first one. So if you go to um, sorry, I had to figure out what slide it was. Slide eight of your interactive workbook. You'll just see a picture of this object, okay? And that's where it gets um, a little trickier because you have to figure out how to do this instead of just copying the sketch right off the bat. So again, 
I'm gonna start with this very top of my shape. So it's gonna look very similar to when I drew the top of this one. It's gonna look like a diamond. So four diagonal lines because those are all horizontal on my actual shape. So one diagonal line, two diagonal lines, three diagonal lines, four diagonal lines. Okay, so we've got this top shape right here. Then from there, I'm gonna draw these corners and it's gonna be very similar to this except they're gonna go down farther because we have more cubes here, obviously. Um, just like before, each cube in my shape, I am going to make two triangles on my paper. So I'm gonna start right here on this side and I'm gonna go vertical down four triangles. One, two, three, four. Now, to give myself a little wiggle room to figure out how I'm gonna make this over here, I'm only gonna do my vertical line down two and down two right here because even though we can kind of see this third one from this view, I wanna make sure that I have room to put um, this bottom piece. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go down four triangles. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I have those three sides of my shape. Now, just like here, this is making an obtuse angle. Okay, so I am going to create a line from the bottom of this line that goes diagonal down to make this obtuse angle right here. Now I'm going to draw the top view right here. It's going to look like a rectangle that's coming off of this line. So it's two cubes long right here. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Then I'm gonna connect those. Now that we have this top view right here, we can see how far down this side needs to go. So I'm just gonna continue that line and connect it with the corner right here. So this one's a little tricky to the eye because we have to remember that isometric sketches don't look like the shape does to our eye. It's gonna trick it a little bit because we see all three sides at the same time. So even though we can see a little bit of a space right here in our actual object, we're not gonna see it on our sketch. So now that I have this top part, I have my little tower area of this shape, I'm gonna do my vertical lines that make up the corners of my shape. Okay, so there's going to be three right here. There's going to be one off this far left side. There's going to be one off this middle part. And we're going to go two, two more down over here. And then from there, all I have to do is connect my vertical lines. And I have my shape. And again, we can see all three sides. We can see the top view right there. We can see the front view right there and we can see the side view right here so I want you to try to make these isometric sketches on page 12 of your engineering notebook good luck and let me know if you need any help